Hello guys, welcome to Box and Block Center the Own Wolf. Nigerian African Muslim, please if you're new to this channel, make sure just click the like and of course the subscribe right now. Let's just go straight to the hesitation right now. Kamaru Usman, it was announced yesterday that Kamaru Usman will face Hamzat Chimaev in the middleweight bout at UFC 294. After, of course, Paulo Costa was medically cleared following surgery. Um, Dana White, of course, announced this. Um, I have to say, though, Kamarusma, this would be the first time, okay? The first time he's moving up, um, moving up weight to challenge someone as dangerous as Hamzat. I tell you right now, it's, it's, it's funny how events change you know um makashev was supposed to face Oliveira for the second time but things changed and is now facing uh uh Volkanovski, you know um and then chemai was supposed to face costa paulo costa and then is now facing usman this fight right here is a very interesting fight uh for the fact that um Kamzat Shimaev is uh, listen is um is a bull you know you can't really be a bull in his game both Hamzat and Usma are very good in wrestling uh Hamza come from the school of uh, Dagestan you know those people are not to be messed with in terms of like these guys are like they literally these what they do for a living you know they 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 like they wrestle with bears they they fight bare naked they like they do all those things that you know a lot of fighters like don't really do like these guys are not to be messed with and now when you analyze the fight right now I, I have to look at first look at uh Usman's um last fight against leon edwards there of course we all know what happened Usma, i don't think was of course he might have been ready for that fight but i don't think he was um 100 himself Usma needed um he couldn't really make that weight anymore you know like you have to understand that at some point um you find it hard to make weight. Whether weight wasn't for Usman anymore, in my opinion. Now he's moving to middleweight to fight a guy as dangerous as Chimaev. That's like a big, big step. Especially Chimaev coming from the school, like I said, school of Dagestan. And now, how does Osma uh, win this fight? How does this fight play out? Well, this fight is going to be very interesting because both fighters are wrestlers, you know. And I don't know, I don't think Chimaya will be able to like dominate Usma. Um, in like, I think this fight has to go. I, listen, this, the, this fight, this the, both of them are wrestlers, so. He will not be able to dominate Usma on the floor because Usma knows how to maneuver his way out. However, Chimaev is also very good in striking. I've seen clips of him training. He's good, but he just haven't shown enough of, enough of it. There's something about this guy right here that people are not they are not they're not willing to fight this guy. They're like, I don't know. The law fighters are like, I don't know, I don't, don't want to say scared, but they're very like they have they avoid this guy Chimaev. I don't know. There's something special about this guy. Probably maybe from the school uh, of Dagestan that is that is coming from, you know. Um, and also is a student of uh, Noma Gomenov, you know. I think that's how they pronounce it. And like I said, this guy is a joke. I don't joke. So this this is a win-win situation for Usman right here. Taking this fight 10 days notice. Um if he wins, bro, <laughs> he, he becomes listen, Usma, we know it's not beginning the respect 
from the USC fans people have called even when it was a champion people were calling him boring and many stuff like that but one thing you cannot take away from Usman is that he always wants to fight the best he always wants to fight the best he's not a guy that wants to duck out of a fight he's ready anytime in the day anywhere okay that's what made this guy special when he's down he gets up and keeps on fighting um I'm gonna definitely invite our brother, um, one of our brother to like break down this fight because he's an MMA uh, pro, um, he's an MMA uh, expert. So that's why I will break it down. Uh, I'll get back. I will get to him this weekend and we will break it down. But I haven't watched both uh, fighters' uh, um, fights. You know, especially uh, I've seen a lot of Usma for sure. Um, but I had to go watch a lot of uh, Chimaev. He's beatable. He's beatable, but you just got to have the tools to do so. It's not an easy task, you know. Uh, like I said, he's a bull, but we all know that a lion can beat a bull, you know, can take on a bull. It might be hard to defeat, but he would definitely take on it. I'll uh, take on it and uh, get his. Uh, get his will over the ball so i think who's my right here is a lion and uh it's gonna be interesting to see how this plays out right here guys what do you what do you guys make of this i'm very optimistic i'm curious how smart approaches for how this will play out now i'm i'm even more more enthusiastic um but i just don't know what to expect in this fight it's a dangerous fight for usma who's my himself he's a dangerous fighter so i see a lot of uh combinations with Usma. either this fight maybe this fight might be a boring fight <clears throat> because this guy is if they go wrestling listen love the mm the mma fans the ufc fans they want to see like blood and stuff like they want to see so many crazy stuff but i believe that both of them can go you know toe to toe and uh and then and, uh, and slug it out it'll be interesting to see how this plays out guys if you just below that video share subscribe i want to say big up to each and everyone if you for supporting the channel god bless you all and uh keep on uh supporting the channel cheers always